You ever see that scene in Independence Day where all the human fighter pilots are just getting annihilated by the aliens? Yeah, well, that's what it pretty much feels like to fly a jet with no unlocks in Battlefield 3. You know when you hear that wonderful beeping tone? You know your ass is about to eat a couple of rockets for lunch and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Fortunately, you only need 300 points for the flares and 700 for the heat seekers, but a lot of people still seem to struggle with unlocking the flares to stay alive long enough to get the heat seekers. Here's how I got my unlocks. Enemy jets. I bring up enemy jets first because it goes hand in hand with learning how to fly. After you get comfortable switching back and forth between first and third person and maneuvering the jet, you can start dropping in behind the enemies. In the case that a jet gets behind you, you can still easily maneuver out of the way by pulling up and getting behind him. However, if he locks on you, you're as good as toast. Because of this, you pretty much want to try to avoid long dogfights with anyone, as anyone without flares would tell you that you're pretty much on borrowed time. If you drop down behind an enemy within close range, you can try to steal some points. Remember, you only need 300 for the flares, so you don't need to kill anybody. In fact, I unlocked my flares just by getting vehicle destroy assist. While jets aren't the best way of getting points, I still think they are an easy way of getting points. One option is just to watch for jets that are flying high, and if they stall, just go in for the kill. That's an easy couple of hundred points right there, and you'll actually see it happening more often than not. The only problem is you're probably going to stall after that, and you're a sitting duck at that point. But without flares, you're pretty much a sitting duck anyways. Choppers and tanks are probably the easiest to actually get solid points off of because of how slow and immobile they are. Choppers in particular are easy to kill with a full burst usually netting you a few hundred points. If you can get a semi-decent amount of shots to land, you can easily finish the chopper just by giving it a little tap. If a chopper locks on you and you're barreling right at it, you just gotta man up and stick your mighty plane dick right up its ass. The uh, mighty plane dick maneuver can also be used on enemy jets, but you'll probably start getting some hate for it. Occasionally you'll catch a chopper that's landed and trying to repair itself. This is pretty much free points. While tanks are easy to get points from, they can be very situational depending on the map and the rest of your team. Usually in one burst on a tank, if you hit with most of your shots, you can disable it, leaving it to be finished by engineers on your team. If the map has a lot of cover on buildings for tanks to hide, like let's say Operation Firestorm, then you won't really be able to do much without later jet unlocks. Even on Caspian, you sometimes have to get low just to see past the trees and this leaves you vulnerable to engineers. Without flares, you're just engineer fodder. If all else fails, you can try to suicide on a tank, but this usually results in a wasted ticket for your team and some hurt pride. While infantry can be killed with a jet, it's usually not the best idea to try and dive bomb them. Like when on the ground, you should really be spamming your spot key. Also, if you're the squad leader and you issue an attack or defend command, the points will count towards your vehicle score. If an engineer gets a lock on you, you can fly behind terrain such as a mountain, or you can fly at a range to lose the lock. Caspian Border and Operation Firestorm are two of the easier maps to get your jet unlocks and learn how to fly. Both of these maps have a decent height limit before you stall in a lot of open airspace. Karg Island also has a lot of flying space with a high stall limit, but it also features quite a bit of anti-air, specifically this fucker. He'll ruin your day and is often equipped with not only a Gatling gun, but heat seekers with your name on it. While a fun map in its own right, Canals is pretty terrible for flying. As it stands right now, the map has a ridiculously low stall ceiling and almost no airspace. If you don't have flares, engineers with stinger missiles will just go to town on you. Remember, stay on the outside of the map and pick your targets before coming up behind them. You don't need kills to gain unlocks, you just need points. Vehicle destroy and kill assist will work just as well. The easiest way to get these is to join a low population server, particularly anything between 20 and 36. The higher population servers are swarming with engineers well equipped with stinger missiles. Another thing to keep in mind is that hardcore servers will often not allow you to switch between first and third person and lock you into first person. 
Once you get your flares, you'll find it ten times easier to stay alive, allowing you to gather more points and obtain your heat seekers.